Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SUSS Convocation for the Class of 2021. Please be seated as the convocation will begin shortly. As the convocation is a formal occasion, we request for all graduates and guests to remain seated throughout the ceremony and all mobile devices to be switched to silent mode. Thank you. Congratulations to all of you for accomplishing a major milestone in your journey through life. 2020 and 2021 have been, for the most part, tough years for many of us. But as they say, pressure makes diamonds. So as you enter a new phase at a very challenging time, may I encourage you to embrace lifelong learning so that you will always remain adaptable and relevant to the changing world and the future of work. Whatever the future holds for you, stay true to what you believe in. Take care of yourselves and remember to help others with your talents, gifts and time and give back to society. So class of 2021, be very proud of what you have achieved at SUSS. Together with my colleagues in the School of Business, we wish you success and happiness in the years ahead. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the academic procession and remain standing for the national anthem.
I declare this convocation open for the presentation of graduates for the degrees in business. Regents, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SUSS Convocation 2021. This is your event, as today you, our graduates, are finally at the end of your venture to win the prize of a degree. And for your guests, they are severing your success with you after accompanying you in your journey. Class of 2021, Congratulations on your well-deserved success. We are always happy at Convocation, for that is when we see the fruit of our labour, sending out those whom we have nurtured and prepared for work and life as SUSS graduates. But let us reflect, what type of graduates is SUSS sending out? Let me touch on three aspects. You have come through challenges, particularly in the last one and a half years. When you had to complete school in the midst of a global pandemic, it was not easy. You had to attend classes and take your exams online, for instance. Besides the demands of your studies, your lives were disrupted and there were added stress and uncertainties. You persevered, overcame them and grew stronger as a student and as a person. You adapted to an uncertain and changing environment. So I would say, well done. My call to you is to be similarly adaptive or what some may describe as agile when you face your future. There will be more ups and downs, upheavals, but you have coped well before and you can similarly adapt and try. Secondly, you have done learning, self-learning, peer learning, integrative learning, and doing learning when there were many other tempting things to do. Don't let this habit stop. Be graduates who never stop learning. Lifelong learning and collaboration are keys in carving out a successful career path. Learning about life makes you a better person, wiser, more able to deal with people and life circumstances. Real world issues are often interconnected and it is essential for you to have multiple perspectives, be open-minded and interact readily with peers from other disciplines. You caught some of these in SUSS and you will find them useful throughout your life. A final point, be graduates who are grateful. Gratitude is one of the values we hope you will carry with you all your life. You were given the opportunity to earn a degree and a means to progress. When you are grateful, you can better accept others, deal kindly with them, encourage, understand the situations of others, and do good. In fact, I urge you, act on all the good values that you have adopted at SUSS. It is not what you say or hide in your hearts, but what you do that depicts what kind of graduates you are. On our part in SUSS, we have endeavoured to give you a holistic education that nurtures the head, heart and habit in you. We have enabled you to be able to study anytime, anywhere and afforded you exposures to applied and experiential learning to broaden your perspectives. Various measures were rolled out to support our students and alumni during the COVID-19 period such as our Student Care Fund. Another project, the SUSS Class Giving 2021, 
which is a student-led initiative, raises funds to help present and future SUSS students in financial need. And I call on you to contribute to this fund to help others coming after you. And so that you can have a memorable send-off, we are holding Physical Convocation 2021 ceremony despite the pandemic restrictions. So how will we and you measure your success? Is it merely by your academic result? Is it by how successful you will be in your future career? Or how much of a happy life you'll have? Well, some of this in part. I hope your success will be much more about how you will be a conscientious citizen, someone who will give to others and uplift those in need, and who will make a positive contribution to our community. I wish you every success. Thank you. Professor Chong Hee Kiat, President SUSS, graduates, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I'm really pleased to be here today and to congratulate all of you, the graduating class of 2021. Take a look at yourselves and where you are today. Believe it or not, there was a possibility that we may not have been able to do it this way as the COVID-19 pandemic has altered many of our plans in some way. As we cope and gradually overcome this, let's encourage each other to stay vigilant and do our part to get through these difficult times. Let's stay positive, but test negative. This convocation celebrates the culmination of your achievements and honours your hard work as you are finally rewarded with your degree. And this joy is shared by all of us and your loved ones today. While it does mark the end of a journey, which you embarked on several years ago, it is also a new beginning. And that is why this ceremony is also referred to as a commencement, which signifies the start of a new and exciting chapter for each of you. So I would like you to look forward to that future, which SUSS has prepared you for. You are done with the past, but you are very much in control of the present and what lies ahead in your life. If I mention these words to you, onwards and beyond, does it sound familiar to you? Yes? No? Let's reflect on these words for a moment and contemplate your future. First, it's about exploring new pathways. Each of you will have choices to make. You made a choice to study at SUSS, and now you need to decide what you will be doing with your degree. Many of your choices will not be easy but always remember to do what is right and find a path that will lead you to success. Second, it's about new lessons to be learned. By now, you should already realize that lifelong learning is here to stay. Get into the habit of learning to upgrade yourself and embrace lifelong learning so that you will always remain adaptable and relevant to the ever-changing world and the future of work. Allow me to add that here at SUSS, from graduate certificates to doctoral degrees, we have 60 graduate programs for you to choose from. Third, it's about achieving your dreams. We all have big dreams, 
But it all starts with daring to dream. Be fearless, pushing the limits as you chase your dreams and try your best to achieve them. Remember, a dream is still a dream unless you make it come true. And fourth, it's about milestones to be reached. There will be many new challenges in your life, but you will need to face them and stay focused on what lies ahead and to keep moving towards achieving your career goals and personal ambitions. In a short while, you will hear a rendition of the university song, Onwards and Beyond, performed by a virtual choir. Enjoy the song, but listen to the lyrics and remember that we are all on a journey that will take us onwards and beyond. So class of 2021, let me end by saying, if you thought that you are done with assessments, I'm here to tell you, not yet. Here's another one. Your final assignment from us is for you to now write your own story, your own special, unique story. No minimum and no maximum number of words. Weightage, 100%. Due date, I think someone else will decide. What should you write on? as many chapters as you want. But your story must include three chapters on head, heart, and habit. The head for knowledge that is relevant and applied. The heart for society and the environment and doing what's sustainable and right for the greater good. And then the habit to learn so that learning never stops for you throughout your life. Congratulations again. We are all very proud of you and what you have achieved. Take care of yourselves, be happy, keep fit, and stay in good health. Onwards and beyond. President, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Bachelor of Science Logistics has earlier been conferred. Mohammed Nizam bin Jupari. <laughs> Wong Dian Xiong Anju. President, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Bachelor of Science Logistics and Supply Chain Management has earlier been conferred. Brenda Lin Xiao Xiang. Chong Kui Tian. Cha Ji Kim Ki Damento Kenneth Lu Jin Hui
Li Ban Chen. Li Hui Lin. Liao Kai Yao. Liana Noor Farah Binti Makribi. Lo Wei Jie. Muhammad Amsha bin Noor Arifin. <laughs> Winner of the SUSS EMP Alumni Entrepreneurship Award, Liu Wei Xiang Sean. Jinping Ng Jian Yu Sim Siu Lin Samantha Siti Saliha Binti Ibrahim U C Wei Terence Elamanda Chen Zhi Yu Din Yap Yi Wang Prakat Nisha Binti Abdul Latif Chan Wei Jun Ching Si Yi Cheryl Tan Mei Yue Chua Chun He Evan Ni Wei Jian Gregory Ho Gui Yi Ying Jovina Liao Zhi Qing Ku Shi Jie Ko Hong Lai Krishna Murthy, son of Rajangam. <laughs> Lim Wan Tong. <laughs> M 
Muhammad Faris bin Muhammad Ashari. Muhammad Khairu Nizam bin Othman. Roslia Firdawati binti Rosli. Tan Hong Xiang Wei. Tan Li Ting. Tan Wee Kyung. Tio Shin Kiat. Yasmin Binti Haruna Rashid. Zhou Xi. President, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Bachelor of Science in Supply Chain Management has earlier been conferred. Lo Ka Wen. Winner of the Singapore Logistic Association Gold Award, Wun Jia Yi. Chi Jia Min. Cheryl Lim Hui Ying. Go Jia Lin. Iris Ting Su Chi. Shan. Lai Ka Sing. Lauren Go Shu Chi. Lo Xue Yu Mark Joy Marian Yu Ji Ying. Nadian Chua Shao Jun. Nico Liao Xue Ting. Siu Chun Zhang Joshua. Tan Ping Xin. Tio Xu Ying.
Vanessa Lau Xin Yu. Wat Tai Xing Lun. Zi Shi Lei Salin. Winner of the Service Learning Award, Chua Li Ling. Hazel Ng Ke Ching. Jiang Ya Hui. Nini Halina Binti Ruslan. Ong Ding Chue. Ong Jun Hui. Ong Kian An Benny. Ong Zi Shan Timothy. Cheryl Pat Yu Xuan. Chiu Xiu Wei. Wang Chang Ting. Shamin Un Yi Min. The graduate representative for the School of Business Class of 2021 is Ms. Utara Vankata Cherry, who graduated with a degree of Bachelor of Science in Finance with minor. We will now watch a video recording of Ms. Utara Vankata Cherry's speech. A very good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on which session you are attending. Distinguished academics and staff, guests, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen. I am Utra, a graduate of the Bachelor of Science in Finance with a minor in Analytics. It is my greatest honor to be addressing you today on behalf of my fellow SUSS graduates, and I am immensely grateful to SUSS for giving me this opportunity. First of all, congratulations to the class of 2021. We did it. COVID-19 has indeed shaken our experiences and expectations of university life. Despite the social isolation and drastic lifestyle changes, we are gathered here in solidarity to celebrate one of the most meaningful milestones in our lives. Before I joined SUSS, I was invisible and risk averse with a tendency to stay within my comfort zone. My immense fear of failure stopped me from starting any new project or taking up additional responsibility. I skipped celebrations of most kinds, birthdays, proms, parties, and never invited my family and friends for my past graduations or award-winning ceremonies because my imposter syndrome told me that my achievements were due to sheer luck. There came a turning point in my life where I didn't know what defined me or what values I stood for because I never took risks or explored life beyond my domain. Upon joining SUSS, I sought growth and decided to sign up for events, competitions, and anything that would help me develop as a person. 
The first few endeavours were met with internal resistance because I was not used to doing things that made me uncomfortable. But over time, I noticed that the things I used to find impossible were gradually getting easier. For instance, I used to think that leadership was nothing but following rules and exercising authority. It wasn't until I led a team of 20 for an overseas project that I realised how crucial it was for a leader to anticipate the unexpected, make quick decisions under pressure, and choices that are correct despite them being unpopular. I have three key takeaways from my experience in SUSS. Number one, the first step is always the hardest. Don't be paralysed by the fear of failure and just take the leap of faith. Second, change provides opportunity for growth. If you're feeling uncomfortable, it's a good sign that you're being tested by adversity and the choices you make then will define who you are. And lastly, People are willing to help those who help themselves. When you have a vision and develop a strategy to achieve it, you will attract the right people who will help you work towards it. With regards to the last point, I would like to express my gratitude towards some of the SUSS staff who have helped me, which includes Mr. Patrick Tan from the Career Development Office, who saw potential in me and opened doors that led me to where I am today, and Professor Tan Eng Ju, for going the extra mile to help his students and even working overnight to help my team with our research challenge. My friends and sister for helping boost my morale on days when I was feeling low. And most importantly, my beloved parents for holding me accountable and keeping me disciplined. It wasn't easy being immigrant parents raising kids in an environment they were unfamiliar with. But nonetheless, they persevered and sacrificed so that I could have a better future. When someone else asks me who inspires me, I tell them that I pick up bits and pieces of inspiration from everyone that I meet. Just within SUSS, I have my classmates inspiring me with their impeccable time management skills. Many of them juggled work and studies and still allocated time for other activities. I'm grateful for my friends who were selfless in sharing their notes with me before every semester, which gave me a head start in my modules. Every single graduate here has had their share of struggles that are equally worthy of our respect for their success today. For those who struggled in silence, the underprivileged, the marginalized, we may not be able to hear your story today, but know that you are not alone and your strength is beyond admirable. I'm sure that each of us have our own loved ones that we want to show our gratitude. At this juncture, I would like to invite all graduates to please rise and face your loved ones. Please join me in expressing our utmost appreciation to our loved ones and SUSS for making this day possible for us. Let's give them our warmest round of applause. Thank you, everyone. Please take your seats. Class of 2021, for most of you, this graduation would mark the passage to adulthood. Adulthood can be intimidating, but remember that it's okay to feel lost. It is okay to not have the answers. As long as you do what you think is right, trust that everything else will fall into place. I would like to end with a quote by Paolo Coelho. When you really want something, all the universe conspires in helping you achieve it. With that, I wish all of you here nothing but the very best. Enjoy a big day. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Coming up next is a virtual choir with the rendition of the university song Onwards and Beyond. This collective effort is by the members of the SUSS Music Interest Group to celebrate this significant milestone, your graduation. Stay. 
I declare this convocation closed. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated until you are called upon to move out of the hall. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to remind you to leave the campus after you leave the hall. We thank you for your cooperation. We now invite graduates from the red zone 
and guests from the purple zone to follow our ushers to leave.